around midweek for Vipers Hockey TV and we're at Hillheads for the local derby the bragging right it's Newcastle Vipers taking on the Whitley Warriors uh, the match set up between the two coaches and obviously the teams sharing this Hillheads facility we've got full highlights here for you on Vipers Hockey TV in association with Gator College Media Productions
TV and uh, I think Danny full blooded is uh, doesn't tell half the story of tonight's game. No, it's uh, you know it's um, it, it obviously wasn't good enough. Um, I'm part to blame. I, you know I'll put the blame on myself. Maybe not preparing these guys for the type of game it was going to be. Um, but you know at the end we found a way to win. The guys kind of got their play together in the third period but still there's there's no excuses for that and it's uh you know credit credit I don't want to take anything away from Whitley Bay they played a great game they came in they worked hard and and made it a tough game for us and and I hope it's a wake-up call for the guys and there's a way certain way you got to play in this rink and and tonight we didn't play it so um we'll work that out the next couple of days and again you know we're not making excuses but we have only been together four or five days now and um close to a week and um, we still got to work out some things, so hopefully we can get that sorted. 
was it, like you say, so it's good to obviously in the preparation for the Sheffield games to get those kinks worked out, and obviously tonight as well, you, you didn't have the chance to put your normal lines together with the, the import limits that you had on yourself. Oh yeah, I mean we couldn't roll the lines the way we wanted to, but that's again that's no excuse. We got plenty of talent in there, and um, again credit to Whitley Bay, they they did everything they needed to do to make it a game, and um, it was just it's just not good enough. So um, I can deal with mistakes being made out there because it's early, but. You know, there's a couple performances where I don't know if the effort was there, and that's one thing I can't stand for. So um, we'll work those out the next couple of days and be ready for the weekend. So looking ahead at the Sheffield, obviously Charlie's just came in um, the last day or so um, and thrown him in. Was it was it just basically just to get him some ice time? Yeah, well, just you want to get him on as much as possible before the weekend. I mean, poor kid came in, got in at. Uh, Seven this morning, I think, after an 11 hour flight from St. Louis, um, a delay in Philadelphia, stopover. I mean, it's, I mean, he had an 18, 19 hour trip, gets in, and then he's got to drive three hours from Glasgow to get to Newcastle. So, um, credit to Charlie. I mean, he's, he's, uh, I asked him right when he got here if he felt comfortable. He goes, Oh, yeah, I want to go, I want to go. And you knew the kid was exhausted, but he came in and I, th I think it was is evident that he, you know, it's going to take some time to get used to the, the kicks off the backboards, and you know, he's used to playing his regular game, coming out when pucks are dumped, and you, you don't expect pucks to kick out as they do here. So um, it'll take him a couple practices to sort things out, but I'm sure he'll be ready to go. Yeah, and then looking ahead at Sheffield, then obviously they've they've been together, they've had a couple of league games already, and got off to a good start. So. It'll have to be a 100% effort, as you said, to, to match them. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to bring everything. We'll have to be disciplined in our systems, disciplined all over the ice, and um, we're going to have to play physical against those guys and and uh, and do what we need to do. The effort's got to be there, but also we we got to we got to get better defensively. We're we're still a little sloppy right now, and and like I said, that those are things that we will work out in the next couple of days. Okay, well, catch up with you the weekend. Thanks All right, so much. thanks, guys. So, Vipers coach Danny Stewart there, the team winning 5 4, but as you heard, not happy with the effort of some of the players. Bit of a wake up call in this pre season training leading up to the weekend games with the Sheffield Steelers. Uh, we've got full coverage of uh, the game against Sheffield on Sunday. It's Ice Wars, the Stormtroopers in the building, there's a Star Wars theme to the game, and quite a big crowd expected. So, Vipers Hockey TV will be there. We hope you've enjoyed these highlights. It's Vipers Hockey TV in association with Gator College Media Productions.